What's up? How you doing? I'm cold as a motherfucker. It's like high of 51 degrees, a low of like 30. And I left my windows cracked in my room, like barely any. I woke up, my room was 42. I was freezing as fuck. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Alex. It's your other boy, Alexi. How do you pronounce your real name? Alex. Now, what's your real name? Alex is fine. That's my real name. Isn't it like Alexani or some shit? Alex Sassy? So, Alex Sassy here is building. Uh, this is uh, trying to go into Vegas. One of our boys, uh, Dana. Uh, dropped it off for us to build. Second gear upgrade, Pro Max diff stubs. So he's finishing it up right now. Whew. Anyways, giveaway's going dope. Shoosh, you guys buying a lot of merch. I actually logged in this morning and saw how many orders needed to be shipped today. I was like, whoa. Them dudes are busy out there. Uh, nonetheless, it's a new week. New Year's has kicked off super good. Um, Gonna finish this tranny, and then we got a we got a cool car that came back uh, came in for upgrades. Uh, it wasn't built by us; it was our product. Actually, our buddy Man Cobra built it. He flew north to NorCal, put together his turbo kit, Motec, upgraded clutch, and a fuel system on this car. Ran good. I I helped him. I tuned it remotely. Ran great. Then uh, it was actually sold to a car, a, a individual here in Southern California, and I've heard about the car. Like, oh, this is black sheep ER8 in, in the high desert. And I usually know, I keep a pretty good memory of where the cars go, especially if they're local. I've never seen or heard of this car. And I get a call one day, and it's like, hey, uh, I have a sheep ER8 and I blew up the transmission. Can you help me? Sure, so he brings it in. Super cool back. All right, so I'm gonna go show you guys. Came in, we did a stage five training on it. It has an old school water system, so it has like a bilge pump inside the water tank. So we upgraded that to a brushless pump, dash 12 hose versus the dash 10, the V3 billet manifold. Uh, let me just go show you. I got two long sleeve shirts on, a t-shirt and a hoodie. I am not good with the cold. And for some reason our office is literally 10 degrees colder than uh, it is outside. I was going outside and like stand in the sun to like get like some sun in me. But um, yeah, it's been good. Things have been smooth. Thank you guys for all the support. And Alonzo's already working on the next giveaway. It's be crazy. So we have so this R8. We call it the sparkly car. Sparkly. The sparkly car, right? So we call it the glitter car because the, uh, the carbon's all got this like cool, cold we gold weave to it. And it actually looks. It, it looks really good. I when it, when it first showed up, I was like, damn, I do killed it. I bet you it looks sick at night. Oh, it's just dope. So he, he bought the car and he did all the upgrades. He did the rims, he did all the carbon, he put some race seats in it. He took the full turbo kit off, recoded the intercooler's teal, the compressor cover's teal. He did his own titanium exhaust. So the guy's hands on, mechanically inclined, and, and has really put his own touch to the car. So I'm, I'm actually really impressed. Of course, he, you know, T1, but I like race rims. It's the only uh, beadlock rim we run. We don't run with anything else. Often imitated, never duplicated, they say. That strongly applies to those wheels. And then, <laughs> Alonzo almost fell behind you guys. <laughs> All right, but he almost fell out. So this is the V3 intake manifold. I know we've showed it to you guys in the past, but the V3, the guy holding the camera doesn't like the the eyes. Trash. It ruined his whole night. It literally, he got so mad when, we, when I changed the design to the angry sheep. I personally like it. Comment, comment in the comments. Do you prefer, prefer V3 or V2? We'll show you a picture of V2. Anyways, v, V3, the plenums are a little bit bigger. Uh, about 8% bigger. And on top of that, we changed the velocity stacks to be threaded on, which is just a carbon stack, so they thread on and uh, you know really secure that on there. So we have Marco's here doing finishing the intake manifold. If you guys have not seen Marco, Marco is the new guy to the team. Say hi, Marco. Right here. Hello, how you doing? <laughs> um, so finishing up, Bink 1's done. You can finish up Bink 2, put the intercoolers on, and then what we're gonna do is remove all the water lines and start plumbing it for the dash 12 stuff. Um, you know, with the air to water stuff, you really want to move as much volume as you can um, and have a very good water pump that flows and, and does well. Being that it's brushless, we will control it through the MoTeC. So when the car's idling or the car's, you know, just ignition on, it's not running and draining the battery. Those things do tend to drain the battery. So we have it just progressively speed up as you give it more throttle. Is this car, if you guys remember, I don't know, we vlogged about this car, right? No? Oh, we started to. We'll, we'll drop it in here. Uh, it's on the dyno, no? It was on the dyno. Yeah, it made 1,600 horsepower. Uh, turn it down a little bit, though, because it's a lot of power. 
Um, it's got the Balek. Um, it's a G40 car. Built transmission, yada, yada, yada. So, we're doing some street dialing in. Um, after the dyno, we load a street, you know, load the calibration that it's gonna have in the car for the street driving in normal conditions. Went and made some hits. New Mexico, low power. Make sure everything's working properly. It's driving great. Alexi's uh, just doing a quick little overlook. Oil level, coolant level. Um, and then Alonso's gonna stick her up and go shoot it. But, um, and then we have uh, Andrew's car that we've been working on showing you guys. Should be on the dyno tonight, so. And then my boy Britt Evers. Britt Evers has got a black R8. We originally built him a blue R8. Alonso, find the pictures and put them. Here, put this shit in 2018, 19, 20. Long time ago. Uh, it was like our first drag car. It went 820 stock motor, Texas 2K in 2020. Uh, it was fun. It was great. Britt sold that car, bought another car, had it built by a local shop, another tuner, and then sold that, got into Mustangs, and calls me one day and says, dude, I, I miss having an R8. I miss working with you guys. So my buddy Mitch McKee from uh, M Engineering had that R8 that we did for him and it was on DS1, so he bought that car for Mitch. We put a Motec on it, did some trans upgrades, built a manifold, and we're going on the dyno with that Thursday. So him and his son, um, Jake, it's super cool. I actually, like, they inspired me that I have a relationship with Hendrix when super tight, you know, they both go racing together, father and son thing that they do for fun, so. I really enjoy working with them because, you know, they kind of, it's an example of what I want to be, you know, with my son. I get older, so we're gonna have that on the dyno here shortly. So for now, let's get to work on Izzy's car and uh, yeah. So Izzy's got the fast Mustangs. Are you, are you scared of fast cars? Me? Yeah. Are you sure? Hell no. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go do a quick little 1500 horsepower rip. We have back. I, I tried it on map four. Well, remember, it's torque limiting because of ethanol contact. So map, it's it's, it's really, uh, it's only about uh, 800, 750, 800 torque, which is uh, like 12, 1250 tops because it's limiting it because of the ethanol uh, content. So, feel yeah, good? We'll, we'll smooth though, huh? Yeah, smooth. Smooth and working. This right thing here. won't even get you shooking when you drive the fast ass Mustang you drive, huh? Nah, but still, I mean, it's a fun little drive. Fun street car. Fun. Fun street car. Yeah. Get in it and rip it. We can't wait to put it on the biggest map. Just, just put eight, you know, do you have E98 at the shop? Yeah, I mean, we have, we have like, can we put like pure E85? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, by the time we get to the shop, you know, it's gonna run low. Yeah, then you right? fill it up. And then just fill it up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's got plenty of injector. Even if it got up to like E98, it'll be okay. Um, like I showed you how to check the contents, right? Um, if you're gonna do big, big power pulls, put the tire pressure in the back like 25 pounds and in the front 30. Right now they're pretty high. It's at like 35, 40 in the back, just gotcha. so you can drive and um, be okay. Uh, other than that. That's it, huh? She's a, she's a ripper, my boy. Thank you. Thank you, man. I'll see you in a month when you want a big tranny in the <laughs> engine build. <laughs> uh, Andrew's car is ready for the dyno. We got the V3 manifold on there. It's all together. It's a beautiful day for the dyno because it's nice and chilly. While these fools trap this puppy up, I'm gonna go get me some Thai food. This giveaway thing has been super fun and we're gonna continue going. We are already planning the next car. Let's be real here, let's be real. What do you guys think the next giveaway car should be? I personally think we should give that thing away. I think it's pretty dope. It's a rare color, there's only a handful of them in the country. It looks great. It makes about 500 wheel. It's all the bolt-ons. Alright, finally. I am two days behind on having this thing on the dyno, but when you have, when you work on mechanical stuff, mechanical stuff, there's always bumps. Finally made a wastegate hit. Uh, the car had very old firmware, so I had to convert the firmware to the newest stuff. Kind of migrate some stuff, make sure everything's good. Five and a half pounds, I made eight, 
what was that, 830 or something? 840, I don't know, something like that. But it's strong, uh, fuel trims are good, everything's good, it's working, so. Um, I'm gonna let it cool down because I sent Curly to turn it on to warm it up for me, and he left it idling with the fan not on, so. It didn't overheat, it's just a little warmer than what I normally like it on the dyno, so I'm gonna let it sit for like 15, 20 minutes. I am, uh, I have to update the TCM file. It's a non-plus model car. So when you do billet gear sets on these things, the ratios are for plus model, and the TCM calculations uh, have to be changed or else it'll do some funky stuff like think it's in fifth when it's really in fourth and downshift at random times and you don't want any of that. So I'm gonna go through the TCM file, Mike from Unitronics is updating right now. So it went from a non-plus model to plus model gear ratios. Now we actually even changed the final drive to a plus model final drive too. Non-plus models are what they call a 4117 ring and pinion count and plus model 4517. So we just converted the whole thing to plus. So just gotta make sure the TCM file is good. Gonna upload it on the car and then start leaning in the power. All you haters sitting there just wishing I just kept blowing them up, huh? They don't blow up. They work. Andrew's car has been officially done, 1447. That's pretty impressive for the little 62s. I might just turn it up a half a pound, hit that 15 hundy. Let's, let's do that. Be right back. <laughs> So I had the uh, torque limiting in the ECU set for fifth gear. Then uh, we decided to run it in sixth gear and I had the limit really low. So I'm doing the pull, I'm watching like vitals. I wasn't looking at the boost, but I could hear the engine go, oh, ECU was limiting the torque and it made a thousand horsepower. It was like 500 foot pounds of torque limiting. So then I changed that to a thousand, made a hit and it made over 1500. That's not bad for them 62s. Them little 62s are breathing, my boy. But, uh, Andrew, you've been officially horsepowered out. On to the next one. Now we got Brit's car going on the dyno, ending this week strong with 3R8. All making, hopefully, it's too shit. They've all made over 1,500 so far. Brit's has got 64s on it, so we're gonna shoot for 1,600 in Brit's. All right. Brit's car's on the dyno. Take that baby out. We put a billet intake manifold on it. Um, put it back on the dyno, just run through it, make sure she's golden. With yesterday's uh, Andrew's car on the dyno making 1,500 on 62s, this car's got 64s. I'm gonna lean into these 64s and, and see if we can make 1,600 real quick. End the week on a solid note, um, pumping these cars out. So, we can finish this. God willing, everything goes good. Assemble it right now. Drive it, make sure it's cool. Load on the transport tonight. Britt receives it in the morning in Phoenix and, and uh, Britt and uh, Jake go smashing around town. It's all right. I got this local rivalry with this guy named Jared in town. And I'll say his name because Jared's my friend. But Jared had a car. No, I know the shop. Very good, nice, nice build. Jared's always tinkering with this car, so they got this little rivalry. So Jared, we're just gonna crack your ass tomorrow, so be ready, buddy. <laughs> Alonzo and Gary have been working on for quite some time now. I'm super, super excited to, to release this because, as you guys know, with these car builds and everything, we all take cleaning very serious. We all want our cars to look good, smell good, everything good, right? We got, you got to maintain, the, you know, the, all this beauty. Years ago, we did we did something with Adams Polish. I believe that's the name, right? Adams Polish. 
and it did well. It was a it was a one time thing we did, and we sold thousands of bottles. Um, after years, you know, one thing like I've been expressing a lot is having all our other stuff just grow tremendously. So after a couple months, we're going to release our sheepy line of clean items. Um, it's made by Shine Supply um, with a little bit of a twist. So we have everything from wheel cleaner, interior, detail spray, waterless um, wash, tire shine, and interior spray. I'm super excited. The interior spray smells like a, this cologne that I wear, Polo Blue. It smells fucking dope. Excuse my language for everybody with the kids. But uh, yeah, super, super dope. Excited for all you guys to try this. Make sure you go to the site. This also applies to the giveaway. So if you buy some detail spray, any, every dollar you spend, I don't know if we have double entries or not right now. Don't hold me to it. But whatever you spend points towards the giveaway, you may win that R8. So apparently when this video drops, which is this afternoon, today's Friday, five o'clock Western, till Sunday, we got double entries. So if you're watching this, double entries on everything on the site, get on the site, buy a shirt, buy a hoodie, buy something, buy some detail spray, buy some interiors, buy everything. Join the fam up, my people. Anyways, let's see how good this shit works. Super impressed. This is cool. I like this. Super impressed. It's hard to impress me with this kind of stuff. You know, you become numb to certain things when you've like been in the industry for a long time, but when you got the right guys behind everything, designing the right stuff, it still, still impresses me, so. Oh, speaking of the giveaway car, listen, shit happens in this world, right? Like, legit, we all know things happen. If you're sitting there and nothing happens to you, go buy a fucking lotto ticket. You might be the next richest person in the country, but that's probably not the case, anyone watching. So Curly, our assistant, great kid, great, great kid. Uh, we need to put gas on the car. It was late. I was like, yo, just take the R8 home for the night, fill it up, bring it back in the morning. He goes to the gym every night. The poor kid, dude, the poor kid, literally leaving the gym, gets hit by this, the front gets uh, clipped by a, a lady in a, in a Toyota Tacoma. Um, calls me flipping out last week. And of course that first, it's upsetting. It's like, dude, that car out of all of them, you know, it's like, hey, listen, accidents happen. So we're gonna drop the video clip here of it happening. Why I'm talking about it is because shit happens. And, you know, uh, it sucks, but on the bright side, now you're getting a brand new hood, brand new headlight, brand new radiator, and brand new front bumper with fresh paint. All OEM items, so right now our buddy Efren is taking care of that as we speak, so we'll have that car back Monday. But yeah, just, you know, shit happens, I just kind of want to talk about, you know, things that also happen, you know, we're not going to try to cover it up or anything, it's, it's, it's not like you got totaled or anything, it literally is. The front driver's side got clipped. So it was the radiator, the bumper, the hood, and the headlight. Um, so yeah, my luck, right? So we're done with Brett's car. I totally forgot it was a factory gear set car. Uh, the car I pushed the six to 1500 is a gear set car. So uh, everything, anything over 1300, I get really kind of sketched on factory gear. So I'm shutting it down at 14, like 1440. It does have more boost, but we'll wait till he puts, you know, a gear set in it and, and go from there. But that's a wrap, it's Friday. Knocked out three cars, that's, a lot of power, giveaways are strong. We got new detail chingadero, so get on the site, get that. But I am done. I'm gonna go eat some lunch. I'm gonna grab some tacos. I'll see y'all later.